All right, I promised he'd be here. He's not only here, he's in studio. It is uh, TSN hockey analyst Marty Biron. First of all, you were on our Leaf panel for our yeah. Leaf broadcast. How, how was that, hanging out with O-Dog and those guys? It was great. I got to do the quiz, and I won the belt. Like, O-Dog decided, you know what? Marty should have the belt, and he slid it over to me. I put it around my waist. It was awesome. That, that must have been a pretty, like, in terms of your career accomplishments, where does that rank? It, it ranks pretty high. I've been yeah. watching the quiz all year long, and I know that Ho's been wanting that win. Yes, he and has. then he gave me the belt as this, like, gesture of friendship. I mean, that's pretty amazing. sweet. Yeah. Pretty sweet. That's just how the NHL alumni works, guys. That's how it works. He scored uh, plenty of goals on me. He right, right. Way back, so. EO, EO, Juwan. Yeah. Um, fitting that that race for that second wild card would come down to a night like Tuesday night. Have you have you ever seen anything like that? A playoff decided that way? Nothing like the Washington Capitals and the Philadelphia Flyers. When I was in Philly the one year we made the playoffs and we got to watch it in the locker room. We won our game. We came back and we saw it on TV. We celebrated with the waters like they do in MLB and the NBA and whatnot. But this with the Flyers pulled their goalie because they're tied 1-1 and they didn't really need to because they were already eliminated technically because Detroit had gotten a point. Yeah. So Tortorella with four and a half minutes, he's looking at Sam Hurst and saying, hey, I might pull you. And with three and a half minutes, he pulls his goalie. T.J. Oshie gets an empty net goal in regulation at 1-1. And not only does that eliminate Detroit, that eliminates the Pittsburgh Penguins, that eliminates the Flyers. Yep. I mean, everybody's hanging on that one moment, seeing if the Flyers are going to win the game. For the Flyers, it needed to be in, in regulation. For everybody, everybody else, all they needed was the Flyers to win, yep. and they pulled their goalie, and now it's all set in the East. Like, it's about as crazy as you can get, and I love the parody in the league because it allows these kind of moments in Game 81, Game 82, last week of the season. Maybe we should expand the playoffs. I like that. I like the <laughs> NBA's expansion of the playoffs. Maybe, like Maybe we do a plan. Maybe we do a plan. Capitals make the playoffs, by the way, with a minus 37 goal differential. That's incredible. Well, if they would have been tied with the Flyers at the end of the day, same regulation wins, same regulation overtime wins. It would have been the goal differential that would have cost the Washington Capitals their place in the playoffs, but now it's back to zero. Doesn't there matter. You go. And now they face the Rangers in the opening round of the postseason. Uh, Marty, just hang tight. We need yep. to find out if Austin Matthews got goal number 70 on Tuesday.